We've seen something that I, I find very interesting. We've seen some really big companies, some big brands come out with a very strong position on, on social issues, controversial issues. Just last week, we saw Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz come out with an open letter to the American people saying, please do not bring your guns in our stores. We've seen that company come out in support of gay marriage, and we've seen it in other big companies. I wonder, Coca-Cola, arguably the most recognizable brand in the world, what is the position of a company or where should a company fall on social issues and where is the point where it is right to speak out? I think a company has a responsibility to be part of the solution for large societal uh, issues and challenges around the world. Just like we feel that um, obesity is a large uh, societal challenge and that we need to play a role in becoming part of the solution and a very important role in becoming part of the solution and that's why we're doing the whole campaign uh, around being part of the solution raising awareness for m more movement more le less sedentary because lives coca-cola and soda companies in general beverage companies have been in, in the spotlight of this debate over obesity but it fairly is fairly or unfairly it's but come it, down but, but, but the important thing is obesity is a societal important societal issue You've called and it a therefore issue. we need to be part of the solution and we know that governments can't be alone this, uh, uh, the, the, the solution. We know that NGOs can't alone be the solution, universities or right. think tanks and we know that business can't be alone. We need to g garner partnerships because 21st century I believe is the century of power of partnerships. Unless we partner with government to deal with high youth unemployment. Unless we deal with government and civil society to create solutions for issues like obesity yeah. or whether it is other large societal issues, we will not be responsible businesses. How dangerous do you think the risk is, uh, a risk of social unrest, for example, we, we've seen it play out in Egypt and elsewhere, uh, largely driven by unemployment, a lack of social, uh, of upward mobility, especially youth unemployment. How big of a risk to the global economy is that? I, I think, I fear it. I think it's a big risk. And I think that um, as each month and year passes and that the issue does not go away, in fact, it gets bigger, uh, I think um, patience gets less. I think one of the issues is that we expect too much from national governments. So I am in the camp where we need to partner with subnational governments, business, and also bring in NGOs, create that golden triangle with subnational, i.e., mayors, i.e., governors, mm -hmm. and create coalitions to commit to doing something tangible about youth unemployment, intelligent incentives, um, um, apprenticeship programs, more internships, changing the definition of work uh, and how work is actually dispersed. And all of those things, I believe, can really you know, uh, create solutions, tailor-made solutions, not one size fits all, tailor-made solutions for different countries. But given how young the Middle East population is, North African population is, given how young, you know, the youngest billion in Africa, uh, given what's going on in Southern Europe with 40, 50 percent uh, uh, rates of, of youth unemployment, I think, um, you know, if we don't do anything about it, this is going to be the first generation which is going to have less economic fortunes than the previous generation since long time. And I don't think we can just sit back and watch that.